Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your June 16th to the 30th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy that we have to be mindful of during this time, Virgo. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. This is the Prince of Swords. So... This is interesting because this is an energy that's like it's rushing us it's like pushing us pushing us pushing us but this can be our own selves being like oh I have to do this like I get this in my head I have to do it right now if we rush ourselves we will make a mistake and we will regret that mistake so look through everything be very thorough and then move forward that's going to be a very important thing this is also an energy of somebody who could be like you know you have to make this decision now you have to do this you have to do that again slower is going to be better like step back and stop being in the midst of their chaos it moves us to our chakra energy angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels here we have the earth star chakra located six inches below our feet and this is nurturing we need to nurture our inner child we need to nurture our dreams and what we are discovering and how we are moving forward for ourselves that's going to be a very important thing we need to nurture our hearts and souls and, and what we desire so that nurturing that taking care of ourselves that taking time to step into our our bodies and see what we need and what we desire and i know saying step into our bodies sounds odd but so often we're so living for everything that we have to do and everybody else and everything else and just i'm just feeling this level of, of chaos that step into ourselves and to calm ourselves down and to say, but this is what's right for me and this is what I need for me is very important. So let's look at what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Ooh, okay. So let's see here. I'm just going to lay everything out. Let's see. And one more there we go so i do apologize if you can hear crying in the background that is my nephew so let's see here let's turn everything over okay so oh that's interesting so where we are right now is the queen of cups now this is a sense of i'm at a place where i really I'm embracing my heart. I'm looking at emotionally what I need, what I want, what's important to me, where I need to be for me. And this is a time where our hearts are very important to us. Now, we can also be having a bit of a war with this time because it's not going to be as logical logical, or as pragmatic as we might want it to be as an earth sign energy because we are earth sign energies. Now, if we have water sign energy within our natal chart, which is Scorpio, Pisces, and um, what is the next one? Uh, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer, there we go, the, it could be that this part of our personality is coming out very, very powerfully. But there's also a sense of somebody, okay, I'm just seeing a woman here who's having us become more connected with our emotional self. I'm just seeing a woman and like her hand over her heart and then your hand going over your heart. And it's like, you need to connect heart to heart with things. And that's just going to be a very important 
way of, of, of moving forward. It needs to be of the heart. It needs to be moving forward in our emotions. And if we don't do that, then we're almost going to feel a bit adrift during this time. Now, it's funny that our challenge is the world. A lot is opening up to us. A lot is, is moving us forward. The world is coming forward to us and we can have a hard time because it's kind of like, no, I want my quiet life or no, I don't want to be moving forward in this direction. But we can also be kind of blowing it out of proportion in, in our minds or thinking, oh no, my world is going to be turned upside down if I do this, if I, I move forward this way in a way that's really right for us. It's something that we have been wanting to do for a really long time. But again, we're like, how will this affect my world? How will this change everything? Now, we're not talking about here something malicious or vengeful or hurtful in any way, shape or form. It's just like, I have this dream. I have this desire. But if I put it out into the world, what will happen? And Spirit is saying here, we have to try. Now, there's also a sense of we're having a hard time owning our corner of the world. We can feel like it needs to be bigger, like things need to be bigger and grander and names and neon lights, you know, type of thing. But it's like, no, stop, stop. Own your corner of the world. Own what makes you happy. Embrace that completely and openly and honestly because it's moving us to what we're focusing on. And this is us as the king, you know, of, of pentacles, as the king of coins. This is us. We're prosperous and successful and bountiful and there's a determination and a focus and an insight and a wisdom to us. We need to utilize this and as we utilize this, we start to grow in power. So what we're focusing on is saying, you know what? I'm the king, which means I'm embracing masculine energy, which means that I'm moving forward in determination and focus to how I can best grow my crop of success, my bounty of self, where I want to be. Now, this can be that we feel a little bit selfish or a little egotistical at this time. We have to make sure we have a balance because, again, at our heart is the Queen of Cups, which is really telling us, pay attention to your heart. But if, we, if we're looking at this and we're being fair to ourselves, okay, it is saying here that we need to embrace success and we need to look forward at our lives in a very successful, in a very kind of pragmatic but also bountiful way. I'm just seeing like a horn of plenty overflowing. That's going to be very important. It moves us to our past and our past is the Knight of Wands. This is a sense of having to push things in passion and in creativity. This is the reason why we get out of bed in the morning. And this was us having to take the reins of things, but also push things forward. I just see this as very pushy energy. This is the past. So up until we, we watch this reading, right, is, is our past. So here, there's just very pushy energy around work, around creativity, around what we really desire. It's almost like somebody has taken what we really loved to do and they made it not fun anymore. So just be aware of this. Or it could have been even us taking what we love to do and then we made it not fun anymore. We need that spark back. That's going to be very important. Our, our strength is temperance. Now, this is Sagittarius energy, but this is also being balanced within ourselves. There is something here that's going to happen around November 22nd to December 21st. This is the time frame of, of Sagittarius. We're going to see ourselves moving forward in more balance, in a, a greater harmony with what we want. And I know this is like, okay, we're talking like almost six months later, right? But there's this real sense of, I need to be in harmony with me. This needs to be balanced. And this could be what we're working on for the rest of the year, to have this balance, to have this harmony, to have this give and this take within our lives for ourselves. There's also a real sense of, of what do I need and how do I need to move forward for me? How do I put things into balance? And that's going to be our strength during this time. And that's just going to keep on building for us. I don't know why the time frame of Sagittarius is so important, but it is coming out here as like kind of ringing a bell, ringing a bell, which means pay attention to it. There is also a sense of, of things being chaotic, okay? There's, there's a peacekeeper coming, all right? And that is needed for harmonizing. That is not going to be a bad road to go, but we're also going to have to look at the balance of ourselves and come into it as calm and as harmonious as possible. It moves us to our potential future, which is God's source spirit, however you see the divine the universe, handing us a gift of love, of healing, of prosperity, of abundance. We are definitely taking it because where we are right now, we are the queen of cups. So we're taking this cup and we're utilizing it. But our near future can be a time of emotional growth. It can be also a time of really saying, okay, this is what I need, like this is what I want, this is what I'm headed towards. 
and also a time of emotions turning up, like things coming forward, things that we had thought we had buried or thought we were over, starting to come up and us releasing them. It could be a very emotional time. It could be a very a time that has us close to tears or has us overwhelmed or can have us move to tears more easily than at other times. So just be aware of this. The Ace of Cups is moving us towards what we love, but it's also pulling up things that have been festering within us and that we need to release in order to move forward in that balance and in that harmony that we're seeking and that is building during this time. Now our suggested approach is very funny because it's the tower. Our suggested approach is to know that all things are changing and it's kind of been mind-blowing in its change in the way our world has changed. So this has very much knocked us off our feet at times and our approach here is to understand that all things are still changing and that we can feel that we don't quite have the footing that we want. It moves us then to what we need to know. And this is the four of swords. We need to know that we need to rest. We need to stop burning the candle at both ends. We need to honor our story and ourselves in order to get to where we want to be in life. But we also need to slow things down. It brings us to our hopes and our fears. Our hopes is that we can put down all the burdens that we have carried and really create something beautiful from what we have been building within ourselves, from the knowledge we have been carrying, the, the, the power that we have been carrying within us, the, the ideas that we have been carrying, the fear is that we're going to be carrying this forever and be punished like Atlas to hold up the world for the rest of our lives. You know, be punished with unbearable, just unbearable weight being put upon our shoulders and just pushing us down and pushing us down. And that's what we fear. And that's why balance is so important to us. We have to look at what we love and what we want and what's important and say, okay, I am balancing me. I am I'm moving in harmony for me. And it brings us then to our potential future, which is us. We're the hermit, right? We're represented by the hermit in the major arcana, which our potential future is embracing the very essence of ourselves, the very essence of what we love and want and letting ourselves shine, letting ourselves move forward in this energy, letting ourselves truly embrace who we are and where we want to be in our lives. And that becomes the game changer. That becomes the thing that really says, this is me. And it's not running away from ourselves because it's very easy, Virgo, for us to feel like we just need to run away, like we just need to retreat. It's like, no, saying, I need this in my life and this is who I am. We come across a little bit quieter, okay? We can come across very loud, like the, the, the center of the party, but inwardly, we're quieter. We need that quiet space and we need that time to connect. If we don't have it, we feel like we lose ourselves. And this is a time with our potential future where we're holding on to that. And it's like, no, but this is me. This is what I need. And this is what I desire for my life. End stop. It moves us to the energy that we need to be mindful of. And this is the three of wands. We're going to be pushing for something. It's kind of like we want to, to conquer the world almost. And yet we're afraid of it. So just be, be mindful of this. We're going to be pushing for something. It's not necessarily the right time. All right. Or we need to have more information. Again, that that's that speed energy that's coming forward where it's like, OK, I can do this now, now, now. And if I don't do this now, I'll never do it. It's like stop being so harsh on yourself. It brings us to our subconscious chakra energy, which is truth. This is the third chakra. We need to embrace what is true for us and what isn't where we want to be and where we don't want to be. And we need to speak that truth because people will say, like, OK, that is who they are. You know, they might not agree with our truth but they need to hear it. And I also very much believe it's like saying it how it is, is going to be very important because then if a person sits there and says, well, that's not how it is, like it, it encounters us not to be angry about it, but to be like, well, how do you see it? Okay. Why is it like that type of thing? Because this is a time, not only, not only does, does it seem like we need to express our own truth and say our own truth, but we need to listen to the truth of others and listen actually to what they're saying instead of getting mad because everybody wants to speak. And everybody wants to be heard, but nobody wants to listen to anybody else. So just be aware of that. And then our subconscious energy is, is the chariot. This is cancer energy. This is taking the reins and moving forward in what we want. This can also be a cancer energy in our lives, taking the reins and saying, like, this is how we're going. We know that subconsciously. We know that this person has really good ideas or is really valid. Now, if we're saying, oh my gosh, they, like, you know, this person is not valid. This person is, is chaotic and crazy. Okay. You know, that, that works, that works with them too. But there's, there's something here where like this person is taking the reins and saying, all right, no, 
you need to go this way. You need to move like this. You need to understand this, this road. And so the first cancer that comes up, if it's a really chaotic person, that's not the person spirit is talking about. Okay. This is a person with a really level head on their shoulders. And this is a person who sees the broader picture that we are just starting to tune into. All right. Or it can be a person who's emotionally just very steady, very stabilized, who is moving things forward and very much taking the reins during this time. Subconsciously, we know it. All right. All right, Virgo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Virgo, and may blessings always be with you.